All right, guys, so my wife and I just got back from Tennessee. We found an overland camper for sale just a couple hours away up in Chattanooga. We had to go get it, and I've got it here today. It's in the backyard. It's going to be awesome for adventures and stuff this summer with the family, and I cannot wait to show it to you guys. Stick around. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's TJ, welcome to Kayak USA. Today, like I said before, we've got a brand new camper, overland style camper uh, on, the, on the channel. We just picked it up this week. My wife and I drove up to Tennessee to get it and I, I, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. Yes, we're still gonna sleep in the CVT rooftop tent. Yes, we're still gonna do the overlanding without a camper, but when we want to go on long trips to Colorado and up north and stuff, we really wanted something like this. And I guess without further ado, I'll show you what I got. Boom, here it is. This is the new J Feather Micro. Now this is by Jayco, and I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of it here in just a minute. But as you can tell, this thing is tiny. This is the 12 SRK, and the RK stands for Rear Kitchen. So that opens up just like on a regular overland style camper. This opens straight up and there's a full kitchen in the back. The fridge is really cool. Uh, there's a lot of special things about this one that makes it so much more better than more better. Uh, can I say more better than my wife's an English teacher? She would have probably just killed me, but it, it makes everything so much better to have it set up the way that they set this one up. And I love it. I can't wait to take this thing out. But as you can tell, it's tiny. I mean. I think that the the height of it is seven foot two and that is from the ground to the very top of the antenna because there's like a satellite antenna or, or whatever it's called on top but this thing's got everything it's got water electric hitch this is a 12 foot trailer and it's got electric brakes on it which really blows my mind but i'm going to turn the camera around and give you guys a full tour of this thing right now all right, so like I was saying, this is the J Feather Micro. This is the 12 SRK by Jayco. And I'm just gonna start at the front and show you all the options that this thing has. And, and it's all packed in this tiny, tiny camper. So it comes factory with an electric uh, tongue on the front. So you don't have to crank it up. It doesn't have like a hand crank. It's got the push button. It's got a little light on the front. Uh, all this is solid up front uh, it's all aluminum so the front is the steel part but the rest of this camper is this is a full aluminum frame and i can't remember what it's called it's on the side and i'll show it to you in a minute but it's like vacuum sealed so it's, it's just airtight on the inside and solid it's got these really cool blue led lights and i think i've got a picture of it with them on and i'll insert it right here and you can see how it looks with the with the blue led lights lit up you won't be able to tell right now because it's so bright outside but check out the wheels on this bad boy this thing is sick and the height off the ground i don't know if you can tell but it's a good two foot almost probably probably right at two foot off the ground so it's got a ton of clearance uh trailer brakes like i mentioned a while ago they're built on they're built into the seven pin plug that you plug in the back of your vehicle uh all aluminum top you can actually get up and walk around on the top of this thing it's not one of those soft tops and some of these also come with the uh Thule rack on the top which I will be adding because I want to be able to carry kayaks and and maybe even a rooftop tent on top of this so I will be adding that Thule I'll do it here on the channel uh, let's see propane in the front let's go straight around here to the side so the fenders you can actually walk up on the fenders they're rated to stand on and they even put you a handle here on the side so that when you walk up on the fender you can get to the top of the camper and as you can see it's a hard top camper already pre-wired for solar so you just plug the solar panels in right here and you can just put the solar right across the top and mount it to the top of the roof it's got that uh big fan right there that fan is awesome but it's also got a built-in ac unit as you can see right there so here's the stuff i was telling you about this i don't know if you can see it on camera but it says stronghold vbl aluminum frame vacuum vacuum bond lamination so that's what the walls are in all made up and the floor and you know it's all just sealed up really good let's go to the back back here all led lights led lights across the bottom and then it's got those same little round led lights across the top and you undo it like this it's got four of them 
I don't think I've got it locked. I don't. And she just opens right up into a kitchen. Now, there was a TV hanging here and it's on the inside and I'll show it to you in a minute, but you can actually move the TV from the inside of the camper to the outside of the camper. So when you're back here cooking or camping or whatever, you can get to the back back here really easy. Now, I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of remodeling on this. I know it's a 2021, but I really like my new air fridge. It's a lot bigger than the one this one came with. So this one did come with an Overland style fridge. It's a 12 volt. It's made by Everchill. If I can open it with one hand. And it's got a good bit of storage in there. But my new air is way bigger than that and I want it to go back here. But the bad thing is, is the new air would probably come to here. So I'm probably gonna be remodeling the back, putting some cabinetry and stuff in because I don't see us using the TV back here very much anyway. So we'll put some cabinets across here, maybe a sink. The Blackstone grill, now this is cool. It came with it. This drawer clicks out and then you just take your gas line from the Blackstone and it hooks right, Let's see if I can get the camera down here, right there. You just pop this little plug out and you can plug the, the grill right up and have a Blackstone grill and it actually come with the camper. How cool is that? So that's the galley and it's got lights. I don't have, I don't have the battery on here right now, but it's got lights in the top back here. It's even got the little blue lights that you can turn on and off separately. Really cool galley. I really like it. And it's deep. I don't know if you can tell how deep it is on camera, but this is, it's deep. It's really deep. It's probably about two foot deep. Cause I think the way they did it was it's a 12 foot frame or box and two feet of it are dedicated to the galley. So you got a, a 10 foot sleep, sleeping area in there. <clears throat> Let's see, this side, it's got a tinted window. It's even got storage like a regular camper. And I thought this was really cool here too. Let me open this up real quick. So you know how campers usually have, when you open these, they got that little clip that you got to clip on and they always bust or dry rot or whatever. Well, this thing actually has magnets. It's got like a magnet here and a magnet on the door and when you open it up it just grabs it just like that and it holds it open it's got a good bit of storage it's got the power cable this water hose is water hose is pretty cool so it comes with this water hose and it's got a uh, I'm not sure how big the tank is but it's got a tank that you can fill up right here uh, maybe 30 gallon tank I'm not sure but it's got a spray port right here you can open this up click your water hose into it and then turn your pump on from the inside and have a spray nozzle so if you're washing dishes or whatever and I'm sure I'm gonna be doing a lot of different stuff to this camper I'm thinking about going ahead and adding the pelican box on the side and putting a tankless hot water heater in stuff like that so we can shower and have hot water while we're up on the mountain or by the lake or wherever we're at so it's got beautiful rims on it let's see what else is on the outside I can show you so I don't stretch this out too long but uh, it's got the jacks on the bottom so even though it's just a small 12 foot trailer it comes with the scissor jacks on the corner so you can stabilize it and get her all leveled up now let's go on the inside I think that's everything out here of course it's got lights and outlets and stuff so you can have power outside it's got the static hinge so the door won't the wind won't slam the door and let's see the inside I hope you can see in there so it's got this futon bed now it it looks small on camera but it's actually pretty big and it folds out I'll fold it out in a minute and show you how big it is when it's flat but it folds out into a full bed and you can still get to the storage up underneath which like this, this is the access to the storage from the outside and then there's another one over there uh, it's got little cabinets on each side little shelf in that one and I think this top one's just got like hooks and stuff like that there's the max air fan right there in the ceiling it's got the tap lights but the lights all have switches here by the door but there's no power to it right now there's the TV now I don't know how big it is maybe it's a 32 inch TV but it's cool it's a 12 volt TV so it will run off a of battery so even if, if we're out you know somewhere overlanding and we don't have access to 
AC power and all we got is the battery with solar, we can still watch TV. You know, we can hotspot it to our phone and watch Netflix or whatever. If it's raining out, oh, one cool thing, check this out. Let me get in here. So up here by the headrest, so these move and there's storage under here so you can store extra stuff under the headboard. But what's really cool about this is this little guy right here. So if you need somewhere to charge your phone, you can mash this down and then pull it up. Check that out. Two outlets and two USB ports. And then when you're not using them, you just click them down like that right there. How cool is that? And it's got 110 outlets all the way around it. And this bad boy right here, if I can squeeze in here, we got a full AC. Now that is a, I really like having the AC in the wall versus the ceiling because not only is there not a lot of weight on the roof and stuff in the way for a roof rack, like a big AC unit, but if anything ever happens to one of these, you can just go to like Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up another one and put it right in there because it's just like a, a regular window unit for AC. And this comes with the temperature control and all that cool stuff. So got a little storage down here and that's about it. It's really hot in here. Let me get out of here. How you doing, Carl? How you doing, Carl? But we love it. We can't wait to take it off. So the plans, the first plans that I'm going to be doing with this thing after we take it out and, you know, do some test runs on it, we're going to put a roof rack across the top and I want to get a 270 bat wing awning that we can unfold and come all the way around the front and over top of the galley door so that we have a full area right here in the front of the camper to sit and eat, you know, picnic, get out of the weather and stuff like that. And I want to also put some sort of a, I don't know, a track system on the side of the camper so that if I do rearrange the rear galley and put my fridge back here, that means I'll have to figure out somewhere else to put this Blackstone right here. And I'd really like the Blackstone to be able to be mounted, you know, somewhere right in here. So I want something like a track system where we can slide it in with a table and set the Blackstone grill right there and cook. And that would also give us a lot more space back here in the kitchen galley for a sink and dishes and you know, there's, a, there's enough room in here for me to put plenty of cabinet space and storage and stuff like that. So I think that's gonna be our first couple of mods is the roof rack, the awning, and then if I can get this thing in my garage, we're gonna start on the cabinetry and, and take this stuff out of the back. I think this galley is gonna be a really fun build, you know, to add the cabinets and the sink and stuff like that. And if you guys see this video and you think of anything that I should add or should keep from adding, you know, it's just a waste of space. I know it's a it's a tiny camper and I kind of want to keep it a tiny camper. You know, I don't want to try to turn this tiny camper and put everything in it that these big ones have. You know, we've had big ones in the past. They're fun, but I really don't like dragging them around. And if you if you want to do the overlanding, I'd like to try to keep it as minimal as, po as possible. So if you got any ideas, hit me up in the comments, let me know. And if I can do it and it's cool, I'll do it to this camper this year and we'll do it right here on the channel. Keep a lookout for next week's video. We're going to try to go this weekend up to Chiha Mountain State Park and do some camping and give it a go. You know, try it out for the first time, figure out what we like, what we don't like, and how we should set it up. So y'all be on the lookout for next week's video where we're going to take this bad boy out for the first time. I'll catch you next Thursday at 2 o'clock. Peace.